Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Crypto Express, where it's my goal to keep you up to date with what's going on in the market so you can make the best decisions possible this bull run because it's going to be fast and furious. We've already seen this with yesterday's pullback with Bitcoin. So many people got scared. There was over like a billion dollars in liquidations. And now people don't know, like, is Bitcoin a good long term hold? What's going on? You know, what can we expect moving forward? So I've done my research and I'm here to share it with you in the most efficient way possible. But please let me know if you have any questions and I'd be more than happy to answer or research to help find you the answer. All right, let's get started. We are going to start off with a tweet that I believe paints a big picture of where we're at and the best advice for all of us right now, unless you're a pro trader. And that is, this is the part of the cycle where all you need to do is do nothing. Like I said in yesterday's video, it was, it's just too volatile a time. Like, don't do anything right now. We're entering the second leg, which is the most volatile part of the uptrend because we're breaking out. Plus now we have institutional money, so we can expect that the previous volatility patterns we've experienced in past bull runs now are going to become all the more um, disruptive, it, exponentially more volatile. It says, I've seen this stage liquidate more traders than any other stage. Most should just sit on their hands. And I couldn't agree more. This tweet is a bit long, so to summarize it for you, um, this gentleman, PC Principal, is basically comparing the all-time high in 2020 with the all-time high of this bull market as we're going into it. And all you have to really pay attention in this tweet is that right now, so in 2020, we stopped 2% uh, from all-time highs and we nuked 17% on the next day. So last bull run, right? When we were 2% we were from all-time highs, we stopped and then it plummeted at 17% the next day because the market gets scared and people take profits. That's what happens. This time, 2024, all time high so far, we're always mirroring, right? They say history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. And so far, we fetched the all time high. So it seems we've gone a little past last bull run trend and we've nuked 15% immediately. <laughs> so they're not exactly the same, but there is a correlation. So that said, is if shortly after four days later we touched all-time highs and failed what can we expect this time i don't think so i watched crypt um i watched rand nooner's show today and he's saying that he doesn't believe we're going to reach all-time highs so we're not going back to 69,000. i don't agree with that only because i mean maybe maybe not but i think many things have changed this time around we have the etf that was approved, which has brought in so many, in, like so much inflows, and a whole different breed of investors that are longtime hodlers. And now that institutions are in on this, are in on the, the greatest invest investment in history, they are going to play us. They are going to front run us, right? So every, like I was saying earlier, every move I predict is just going to be magnified and more volatile. So the highs are going to be higher, the lows are going to be lower, and they're just going to play us, right? They they know what we're used to, what we're comparing it to, and they're going to play with us. You know, they're going to front run us. So that said, this is where Bitcoin's at as of now, this video, making of this video, which is 2 a.m. Bangkok time. I'm still in Bangkok and I'm really tired, but I wanted to make you this video because I didn't want to let you down. And I'm basically summarizing all of the main thought leaders in the crypto space and their perspective on what's going on in the market. And I just really wanted to share it with you. So as of now, we're at 66,000, almost 67,000. Apparently we had one of the fastest uh, recoveries ever but that said it's also been very volatile right which is why the previous tweet we saw they're just recommending we should just do nothing like sit on your hands unless you know what you're doing because like I said we had over a billion dollars of liquidations yesterday just scary you know and it really it really speaks of um, where we're at and the type of investors that are in the market I believe it's is it let me find it for you there's a lot to go through as you can see on this in this tweet this is the heat map right so this is the funding rate and was something i learned very interesting today on crypto banter show entirely recommend you follow him 
um, is that, although I simplify things a lot more for you, but I learned a lot from him. And um, basically, when you look at this heat map, which you can find on different exchanges, when it's red, that's scary. That's when you should stop, pull out. When it's orange, that is like slow down. Yellow, be wary. And when it's green, that is like your sign, keep moving forward, you know? It's basically just a greed index. And and when people are extra greedy, because the, mark, the market is rallying, everyone goes in and they basically the market becomes over leveraged. And when there's a correction, every all these people get wiped out. That's sad. As we'll read here from Milky Bull, corrections are absolutely normal and healthy in a crypto bull run, bull market. Don't get shaken out on Bitcoin. And on this note, and it just basically shows you, right, how historically since 2014 and every single bull run, there's so much volatility. It's normal and to be expected, which brings me to a point I want to make that is basically, you know, with all of the liquidations, with the major correction that happened yesterday, if we look at who bought and who sold, those who bought, no, sorry, those who sold were retail, were short-term holders, not even just retail, short-term holders, people that were betting and longing and shorting, they got wiped out. We had BlackRock had one of the largest, see, Bitcoin ETF daily flow, almost a billion dollars. So my point is that when the market corrected, institutions all bought up. And those who sold were the small guys, the short-minded people, which is not so much a criticism in as much as an observation of pretty much the lack of understanding of the value of Bitcoin. It's the new gold. It's a new gold standard. So it doesn't matter if Bitcoin dips. Don't look at Bitcoin that way. Bitcoin is going to do this, and that's normal. But you buy and you huddle, you hold it. And when it dips some more, don't get scared. Buy some more. Think, like follow, you know, it's follow the money. So when the institutions are buying, you buy. And Bitcoin is the new gold. So you should not be scared with Bitcoin. It's, this, it's the altcoins, the meme coins. It's all of the other altcoins, ulterior coins that you can, you know, you can change your mentality on. And it really comes down to whether it's a good project, it has a long-term use case or doesn't, or if it's just a quick like pump and dump. But the point is that I think if more people understood the value of Bitcoin, they wouldn't be scared and, they, and no one should be shorting it. You know, you just buy it, hold it, you know? Yeah. So as we can see here, exactly, we had over a billion dollars in liquidations today. The majority being longs. Because even if you're bullish long term, right now is a time to sit on your hands. It's time to stop. Don't don't bend Bitcoin. Like stop. I'll let you know when it's a good time. <laughs> right now it's not a good time. B. This was today. So yesterday there was one billion dollars in liquidations. Today, three billion in open interest. OI got wrecked and BTC alone. This is when you buy. This is when you buy. Don't get scared with Bitcoin. See, and this is the map I was going over a moment ago that says on that leverage wipeout, we got the reset in funding. So this is the upside. This is the benefit is even though there was a massive wipeout, you know, flush of the market, this reset the funding rates, like how much it costs to open, you know, different positions. Annualized basis went from 20% to 100% back to 20%. So now it's been reset. Now couple that with aggressive with aggressive spot bids from ETFs start to challenge 69,000 again. Yeah, so that's the benefit, you know, we at least we had fun rates reset. And like I was saying, you know, ETFs didn't slow down. It's been about a billion dollars a day. And like I said a moment ago, you know, one of the biggest buyers during this wipeout was BlackRock. So we just need to follow what the big guys are doing. Now let's switch gears and let's talk about what the rest of the market's doing. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, the crypto market, general crypto market cap, is as healthy as it's ever been. And a point that uh, Ran Uter made in Crypto Banter, and I agree with him, is that after the flush happened 
In order for us to know which tokens, to feel validated in which tokens we should continue to invest in, we should look as an indicator to the tokens that bounced back the fastest. And I have a list of those. It was pretty much all AI tokens. As we know, NVIDIA is hosting a, it's a conference. I don't know if it's its first conference, but a conference in San Jose next month or so. We'll look at it in a second. So all AI tokens bounced back really fast. Akash Network. AOs, I'm in, a, I'm in early in AOs, AIOZ network, and they have an update rolling out soon as well. Clore, C L O R E dot AI, Fetch AI, bounced back really fast. There's a bunch of them. So, Render and Onet. So, that said, this is really validating because it tells us which tokens have a long-term play because they didn't get they didn't get shaken out and they bounced back fast render i don't think i think all right that said it's still all about meme coins and maga which is uh trump's meme actually i haven't bought maga i this is a good time because we're looking at a 3.6 percent drop and things are just heating up with the presidential elections and as i've mentioned in previous videos trump has still you know several open cases his Mar-a-Lago in Florida case where they, um, yeah, basically, you know, um, search without a warrant, just like searched his home and they found paperwork he was holding from his presidential times, you know, all of his cases. So Trump <laughs> is going to be like an all time, uh, what would you call him? Just attention magnet. So MAGA is still a really good buy. Can you see the chart? See, it's the last seven days last month so it's still all about meme coins but on this note i just wanted to pause and say that if you work you know if you're if you have a five or you're just very busy you own a business or you have a couple jobs or you're you know you're a professional um i would be careful with meme coins i would and i know i'm not supposed to give financial advice but my information is highly vetted Okay, it comes from like all the best people, most knowledgeable people. Um, and as I, you know, I, I, I'm in on the all okay, and I'm sharing it with you as fast as possible. There's actually a big one that I forgot to mention in yesterday's video. I was like buying it in the taxi here in Bangkok as fast as possible. It has like a huge backing of KOLs and influencers. It's an NVIDIA meme coin called Jensen Huang. I dropped the smart contract address in yesterday's video's description. Go check it out. Um, but that said, you know, if you're a working professional and you don't have a lot of time, like you can't be sitting at a computer tracking stuff, I would tread carefully with meme coins because you can get wrecked. But I can say this with a lot with a lot of confidence. I would follow the meme coins I'm sharing with you. <laughs> the ones I'm sharing with you, the ones Kyle Chasse is sharing with you. In large part the ones crypto banter is covering although i don't agree with i follow his videos daily and there's been several he hasn't mentioned and i don't mean any hate because i actually no i wouldn't call him a friend but i know um Rand Uner, he's a friend or like business colleague of my partner kyle shall say they know each other they're doing business together like they're partnered on a bunch of stuff i know i know the gentleman hey ran <laughs> um but i don't agree like he's actually um what am I saying? He's missed several meme coins. But he also mentions others sometimes that I, we don't talk about. I would just say with full confidence, you can follow the ones I'm telling you about. But join my community. That's all I want to say. If you're a working professional, don't venture out on your own because you can get really wrecked. Okay. And as I said, I'm going to be doing a portfolio management talk with some crypto OGs very soon. Most likely next week. Once I get back to town, back to Phuket. So we'll go over. So let me know your questions. I'm also running a, not to make this super promo-ish, but if you follow my Twitter, I'm running a competition, a giveaway. And it's simple. I'm, I'm really, I'm really just trying to share the opportunity because crypto changed my life financially. It took me from working professional, collecting a salary to technically retired. Okay, a lot of my investments haven't paid out or been realized yet but yeah I'm technically just living off of my own investments and it's a wonderful feeling and I want you to have this feeling too 
I just really want to share this opportunity with everybody. So the giveaway is go tell your friends. Where is it? It should have been pinned. Can you tell my Twitter guy? Um, hello? Here, it's me. Okay. This is now. Go check out my profile, follow me, and um, join my giveaway. I'm giving away $1,000. It's not much, but I'm get, just getting started. I'm giving money away and tokens and everything. I'm dubbing my channel into Spanish, all the languages. I want to help everybody. All right. So that's sad. Follow my channel, and I will let you know everything that's going on. All right. That said, it's still all about meme coins. And now there's a Joe Biden meme. Oh my God, I can't really believe it. It's like, what is happening in the world? See right here, can you see? Joe Biden, Joe Bowden, it's called. <laughs> oh man, it's doing good and it's outperformed, you know? Like, I don't know if it's outperformed Solana, but look at it. So now there's, okay, so it's still all meme coins. So it's Trump, it's Joe Bowden, okay. This is them. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I mean, it's already doing good, so. And like, you know, Elio Trades, who's an awesome thought leader. I was just listening to him a moment ago. Really knowledgeable. You know, he's a builder too, so he has long-term mentality. Really great. He says like, make no mistake. This dump was not due to meme coins pumping. This was clearly a Bitcoin leverage flush. The mental models against memes, treating them as purely negative indicators, will be cancerous this cycle. So don't think of them that way. Memes are still a very finan powerful financial way to money, but um, just be very careful with them and and only invest in the ones I'm telling you. <laughs> Seriously, uh, the ones I'm sharing with you, the ones Kyle Chasse is sharing with you, a lot of my information comes from him. Crypto banter, although, yeah, I would say my channel and Kyle's channel are pretty much the two channels that cover like hot alpha. Everyone else is more like long-term, big picture, a lot of trading, and they focus a lot on like layer ones and layer twos and explaining what they are, which are great investments, like I said, you know, your portfolio, which we'll get into more when I do my talk, should be divided between, you know, your meme coins, your layer ones, and layer twos, you know, a trading portfolio, but this is purely money you could live without, you know, it's gamble money. And then um, Bitcoin, you roll it all into Bitcoin. Go watch yesterday's video. I explained all about this. Sorry if I'm a little tired because I am Miro. Miro actually listed on Binance and has been pumping. Miro has a lot coming up too. Go buy some Miro, not financial advice, but so far it's doing really good, okay? Yeah, see, Miro is the next whiff. That will do five to ten x over weeks. Binance just announced their perpetual listing for it. You see, at a 270 million market cap, with fully supply out, a tier one exchange listing later today. This seems undervalued to me relative to other memes on sexes. I'm not saying to ape here when it's already up 80 percent from the Binance perpetuals announcement unless you're a degen, but in my opinion, it's a good idea to watch it for a dip and perhaps buy on spot. That's how I see also a lot of these layer ones and layer twos is even if they dip, you know, if they have a good narrative, they check off all the boxes, which we'll go through in the talk that I do as well, panel I do next week, is um, it doesn't matter if these dip, you know, because they have good long-term plays. So you just buy them. That's what you do. It's kind of like Bitcoin. When they go down, it's when you buy. When they go up, you sell. You pay yourself some. You do not want to be one of the people that, you know, have all these amazing gains on their different, you know, different exchange apps and whatever. But you're always waiting to earn more, and then you miss out on paying yourself. And then the market will correct itself, and you'll lose. You will lose. Don't. Be I'm not gonna be that person. <laughs> they left behind this time. <laughs> that was me last bull run. Yeah. So we've marked the local top, and with this meme coin and broader market pullback. The hat stays on. March me madness continues. It's like what was also sad today on Crypto Banter Show. I'm quoting him a lot today. Rand is welcome. But he kept talking about like, look at how fast or this whole V-shape recovery, like how fast a token drops and how fast it pumps up. That is a healthy sign of a project that has good legs on, on it, under it, for the long run. Because it, it, it speaks, right? It says, 
it it dropped for whatever reasons like maybe bitcoin dropped if bitcoin drops everything drops <laughs> you know um unless you're ai right now um and if there's a buyback right away that's a, that just means everyone really blew the project and are just buying it as soon as possible okay so it's a good sign and that's what happened with whiff that was whiff i had a long open i closed out in time and i profited i think i did like a 20x i'm not sure but i did long more amazing news for bitcoin and crypto in general it just really paints a picture of what's going on in the crypto market and how we're just getting started it's like popcorn it's like everywhere now a now there is it says deutsche borscher i don't know if i'm saying it right will operate trading venue and crypto finance will provide settlement and custody services it's like a german what is it it's like a german crypto trading on douche right it's a german um Digital exchange will go live in Germany. The regulated spot crypto trading platform is targeted at institutional clients. See, everyone's like not going to get left behind. See, the mass adoption continues. Then, oh, disregard this. Next, Arizona advances effort to add crypto to state retirement funds. So now Bitcoin's even being lobbied at a state government level to be added to retirement funds, which is as typically as conservative as you got. So if that's not a bullish sign, like seriously, like it definitely is, you know? Bitcoin is infiltrating the world. Yeah, here's my giveaway, like I was saying earlier. Let's back up. And some more bullish news for AI, like I was saying, despite this pullback. Remember, money flows from Bitcoin, it drops, it goes up into altcoins and meme coins and right now ai like i was saying is such a strong narrative especially with this whole nvidia where is it especially with nvidia's conference that's gonna be in san jose it doesn't say the date here but it's next month in san jose that said nvidia's gonna pump which means this whole ai narrative is pumping and as i said render was one of the tokens that did very very well despite the correction yesterday and Vitalik is a lot of things, as it says here, but he's not exactly a gambler, right? Founder of Ethereum. To go to a BitTensor meetup. So he's at a BitTensor meetup. You assume he knows something. This is Tao, which is very expensive, mind you. But it's it's like being able to invest. Somebody left a comment on my video on BitTensor. Go watch it if you want to learn more about it in detail. Someone said it's like BitTensor is like invest, being able to invest in Microsoft in the early days. Like imagine if you had that opportunity, would you be crying at like an 800 something dollar, you know, stock or token? You wouldn't be. I need to go buy Potensor. I was in Alula, Alula, Saudi when that video, it was my birthday. So I was like extremely busy, <laughs> busy. It's been very busy lately. Um, but there's a lot of great AI narratives. Like I said, there's Clore AI. C L O R E A I, you know, fetch AI, AI, AOs. They're like, oh, AOs is like YouTube decentralized, tokenized with the power of AI, like be your own node. Like, AOs is a whole world. They're a giant Akash network. So we can expect Render, IONET. We can expect all AI to do very well leading up to this NVIDIA conference. So, just some for you and then of course the Huang coin it has um, an army of KOLs behind it I hear so yeah that's it and I will be back here for you with more alpha and updates tomorrow all right be safe with your trades and go check out my giveaway tell your friends tell your families I'm just getting started I actually have some really great ideas lined up and I care for you very much, even though I don't know you. <laughs> I do, I want everyone to make as much money as possible, you know? So anyway, catch you next time, ciao.